Hello, hi everyone. I am Varaprasad. Okay, uh, in this video, we will discuss one more Salesforce interview question. Okay, uh, before discuss discussing this question, uh, already I have created so many interview questions related to Salesforce. Please uh, watch it. So these are the very very important questions. These these questions only nowadays every company interviewer asking. So it will help you in. Uh, interview process okay uh, and okay then now uh, we will discuss uh, one more sales what is interview question so this is the question now like they will interview will give scenario like this how we can insert parent and child records in a single transaction generally uh, if you want to insert a parent and child record first we will insert a parent record then we will uh, uh, get that uh, we will by using that parent record ID we can insert the child record but interviewer will ask you i do uh, without using a uh, uh, parent record id parent uh, parent record id and uh, all those things he wants he wants to do uh, in a single transaction he wants to insert both parent and child records okay uh, see here you already have uh, added here some sample code here for example uh, your account is parent and contact is a child so now here we generally we will do with uh, generally using external ID we can achieve this functionality uh, generally uh, we will use uh, record ID to insert child uh, child record parent record ID we will uh, we will use to insert child record but here instead of uh, parent record ID we will use external ID based on this external ID we can use we can insert child record in a single translation so for that uh, in my um, so here you can see right uh, here SN, uh, this is the sample external ID I have created in my account object this is a custom external ID field so using this external ID field only now I will show you how we can insert the parent account and as well as a child record in a single transaction so here we can check right here, here uh, database that insert we are using parent record and child record uh, without multiple uh, transactions and multiple DML statements okay uh, this is also very very important questions uh, and uh, so many uh, interviewers they are asking this question uh, it will help you in your, even your interview also okay uh, so uh, now i will open my salesforce org and i will show you how we can insert these records in a single transaction okay so uh, this is the my salesforce org. okay now i will show you uh, how we can insert parent and child records in single transaction so i am giving here account uh, just i am um, just initializing account object here giving name you can give any name like uh, master master account okay and external id i will give like anything external id 2 so here uh, I'm, I'm initializing contact object here i can give child contact or uh, anything anything and uh, so generally like this it will not uh, work so first i am initializing account uh, account object here here just i am giving account name and this is external id now i will create reference uh, uh, for this account actually so for that this is again i am creating reference in this reference i am giving only external id suppose we will give other fields then it will uh, uh, not support not support for external id using in the contact object okay for example uh, this is the reference whatever the id we are using same id we have to give here so we have to use only one field in the uh, second reference this is a parent reference only parent means nothing but account account this whatever we are inserting account record uh, adding here same account i am just referencing purpose i am to reference external id i am using this external id another account reference here so here i am giving the initializing contact and uh, giving last name and i will give like contact dot account so i will give this reference so whenever we will give this reference so it will take this id and we based on this external id only this child record will be inserted into the this parent account okay um, so now here uh, just where uh, this is a database class uh, here i am inserting uh, parent account record and child account record so you can observe here right here we are not using any uh, parent record id just we are using parent record uh, external id reference only 
using this external id reference object we can insert parent and child records in a single translation okay so only use of external id without external id we cannot insert parent and child records in the single translations either we have to use salesforce record id or external id but if you use salesforce record id first we need to insert here parent uh, account record here then only we can use this record id into the contact that account id is equal to we can give account that id but interviewer will ask you you don't want to insert parent record also you want to insert parent record and child record in a single transaction so that is the purpose only we are using external id here so using this external id we can insert parent and child records in a single transaction okay so i am give just giving reference here whatever the external id i have uh, initiated in this account object just for uh, to, to reference external id only we have to create one more uh, account reference here this will refer to this parent record so that here based on this external id it will this child record will assign to the parent record this master account okay so now i will execute this code and we will check the results what will happen okay so i am clicking uh, execute added button here so we can check uh, the debug log results also here so get as zero get id this is a success is true this is a parent record and this is a child record here we can see i identify easily 001 means account record then only 003 is inserted so now we will check in the salesforce org how uh, account and contact is related uh, a contact record is created in the account object or not then okay so i will go to the account so this is the account we created just now this is a master account i have given only name only remaining fields uh, as it is i have given blank so in this account here you can see child record is inserted how it is inserted using external id because of based on this external id only we are in we are assigning this contact to the this account record even we will use this external id in the data loader also using external id we can uh, we can assign child records to the parent records we can get data from the parent record then we can assign that parent record data to the this child records okay uh that's it uh, uh this is also very very uh, salesforce important questions um nowadays everyone asks uh, most of the companies they are asking this question how we can insert parent and child records in a single trans single transaction so this is the way we can use okay well, i hope this video will help you and if you face any interview questions uh, any latest questions please uh, comment on my youtube channel uh, comments on below my youtube channel so that i can help you in even uh, when you interview question also thanks guys if you like my video please subscribe and like and share to the other people thank you have a nice day bye